Oh, good morning. Good morning, young you? lady. How are you today? I see. You're up and about already. Yes, I am. How's everything? Uh, it was a quick recovery, two days. That's nice. As long as the patients are happy, we're happy. And whatever we can help you with. All right. Thank you. Brings tears to my eyes. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I see what goes on. No, God yeah. bless you. The department is organized to focus primarily on three major clinical areas of neurosurgery. Vascular diseases of the brain, tumors, and spine. Your brain is basically how you relate to the world and your spine is how you move and so if you can't relate to the world around you and you can't move, it's a big deal. The four C's in the Department of Neurosurgery at Lenox Hill care, compassion, coordination, and communication essentially summarize exactly what we want to provide, and that is exceptional care. I had a severe uh, headache. I had a sinus problem. I couldn't feel anything on my left side. It was unbearable. They sent me for an MRI. He said we noticed something that might look like an aneurysm. I had a lesion in my brain. Within a day or two, they'd uncovered a very rare, unusual condition called RCVS. I could have died, or I can go into a stroke. If this lesion decided to bleed, that could be fatal within minutes. When you get this type of diagnosis, you forget everything. Patients are overwhelmed when they're in the office. They don't always hear everything. You're just numb at that point. Even if you write it down, you're not absorbing it. And then it's hard for you to go back and realize what you need to do. We knew we had to do something different to create a patient care environment that takes care of you with our hands and our hearts and minds. The whole world is now driven by technology. We actually use it as tools of trade. We can record the screen or we can take video on our handheld devices and can be watched at any place in any Time. The app that he has on the phone, it tapes the consultation and you can hear me speaking to him and he's explaining exactly what he's going to do. This is the aneurysm right here and the width of the neck is such that we think keeping coils in the aneurysm would be quite difficult. It's not just that he explains to you what's wrong with you, that he's able to illustrate it to you, that you can actually see it in action. The patient can access technology about his or her condition, about his or her treatments, his or her medications. We think of it as a book. Every chapter is a chapter about you. It's always going to be evolving. For them to be able to leave the office, go home, relax, and go over the information, and then come back to us when they're ready, I think that's wonderful. I played the video maybe a half a dozen times for myself. My sisters are asking me a thousand questions, so I was able to hand them my smartphone, and they can sit down and listen to the entire consultation as if they were there too. It took a lot of stress off of me. You remember me, Andrea, from the office? Good, you look good. You sound good. Your baseline, so at least that will get better. Oh, great. Good. Did your legs feel a little better? Yes. Okay. Many departments have what's called a rounding, sign off, or handoff list. These are often distributed as printed sheets that can be updated several times a day. It's only real time and efficient the one time that you print it in the morning. So we came up with the idea of the patient active list. We wanted a list that was updated no matter where that in-house physician assistant was, no matter where that MD was. You don't have to go to a, a set computer. We have it walking around in the hospital with us. Everybody in our team will know immediately what's happening to the patient, uh, the new update. Everyone sees what everybody else is doing. It's like air traffic control for the patient care environment. IT allows people to coordinate better and, and to collaborate better and communicate better. All those things add up to create a patient outcome to be as best as it can be. The department's overall manner is very calming and exudes a, a real sense of competence. You realize, oh yes, what I'm going through is very serious, but these people can handle it. Everybody did have a role and the ultimate goal was to make me better, to make me whole again. So I think it looks good. Um, all your patients for surgery, I'll look out for any medical clearance for the patients who are coming in for the following week. There's one patient that's going to go home 
Do you think you could uh, do the MRI before he goes home? This woman is a new patient. Um, the MRI, I have it, so I'll give that yeah, to I'm you. Yeah, I'm just waiting for it. She's in room two. Oh, great. Yeah, Perfect. she's already here. And then uh, you'll have another review with somebody. Yep. <laughs> and then we'll get you home, maybe yeah. hopefully today. You did great, though. Everyone was wondering if you had surgery or not. Yeah. <laughs> Everything requires research. It could be research that involves diagnostics to make us learn things about a patient. It can be research that involves a treatment, uh, what we're going to give a patient. And in diseases, that's extremely important. We're always pushing uh, for, for clinical trials to basically be the icing on the cake of standard treatment. So here we have about 17 clinical trials for the brain tumor population. We run clinical trials in an attempt to find better treatments than the current medications we have for those same diseases and apply it to our patients in the hospital setting. Our goal is to help people live longer, extend their lives. We also want to advance the treatment um, for the disease and hopefully help more people in the future. That's clearly our goal, to be the best in the world. You have to have the right people first and the right culture. When I come here, I come here to extension of my family. It's a unique feeling when you come to work and you do not feel that you actually came to do chores, you actually came here because it's a great place to be. I enjoy coming to work every single day and I enjoy taking care of the patients. Everyone here goes above and beyond to make sure they offer the best care possible. Our goal is to give patients their lives back as if they are your family members. We care very much and very deeply about our patients, not just their disease and their response, but the experience that they're having when they go through these processes. There was a team involved, and they each had their role, and they were sensitive to patients' needs. The team was fabulous. From Dr. Langer's office to the person who came in and changed the sheets, everyone had a good attitude. This was routine for them, and they were good at what they did. There is a small community feel to this exceptional hospital where they can see attendings working hard to ensure their best care. When you allow this group to excel and elevate, patients feel that. We can design new tools for the clinical staff to more efficiently do their jobs. And that provides so much fulfillment. We strive to provide the most personalized care for the patient. Whatever the patient needs at that time, we're always there for them. We are setting an example, I think. If you do it this way, then the patients are going to benefit. Everything that I was hoping for in terms of recovery has happened. I'm feeling wonderful. I feel good. I feel like I'm back to my old self again. I'm very, very blessed. I'm delighted to say that uh, the problem was cured and uh, has never returned. Seeing patients get well, getting their lives back, that's the most wonderful feeling for me. I become a part of my patient's family, and they're definitely a part of the family here, the neurosurgery at Lennox Health.